Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle and we are here to discuss my epic Sephora haul. It's epic. Sneak peek, mate. Sneak peek. I actually bought everything that was on my loves list because I was like, why not? It's a super stressful day at work. I just put everything in the cart and there it was. And here it is. So let's get completely started on this situation. The first thing I bought, I should drop it on the floor, um, was the Shadow Cotton Pads. Because I always, always, always grab these. They're my favorite cottons. They come with 165 in them. They have gone up $2. A little, a little salty about that because they used to be $10. Now they're $12. So another $10 is the sale. So I guess I'm getting them for a regular price, basically. But grabbed two packs, one pack in my bathroom. I'm already using them. And I got this one extra. I may, if I run by the store tomorrow and I gotta go to the actual physical store and they have them, I may grab another couple packs because, you know, you never have enough of these. And I won't have enough to last until the next sale. Or if I sell the Ulta now, Ulta always have 20% off. So then I can always grab this. So I may not grab any more. However, moving on from cottons, let's continue down the skincare route since we're on it. I did get the Belief Hungarian Water Essence in the full size. I've gone through several meanings of these and then a couple full sizes a few years ago when I was on Accutane because my skin was so dehydrated from being on Accutane um, that I definitely needed, needed, needed something that would help me be more moisturized. And this has, um, it's a lightweight hydrating serum. Yes, aqua based formulation, 98%. It is an increase your hydration level by 20%. And so it's basically there's inspired by the Hungary, Hungary Water Secrets Napier's Aqua and Original Formula. So this is really good. A little goes a long way because I can use a little stuff bottles forever. It's coming 2.53 ounces. It's kind of pricey though. I think it was like it was kind of pricey. I'll just put it there like that. Alright, we're gonna set these things. Oh, we'll set them down there. Alright, next up I did get another skincare item and this is all thanks to Andrea Renee because she kept talking about it. This is the Tata Harper Next Generation Beauty 100% Natural and Non-Toxic clar non Clarifying Cleanser for Blemish Prone Skin. It comes in this beautiful green box, vibrant and green. It said, look, <laughs> learn what natural means to us at Tata Harper. They have a gorgeous like yellow inlay to the box and then this gorgeous glass bottle. I really want to try this because my skin has been breaking out like crazy lately all down the sides um, and I remember hearing so much I remember hearing Andrea talk about this so much and I was like I might as well get it while there's a good little sale going. It's been on my wish list for probably over a year so I figured I'd grab that. Then I grabbed the something else has been on my wish list a long time from Lee. This is their Beauty Elixir. Um just like a smoothing, glowing complexion spray. Just like a. Ch -ch -ch -ch. I love to have a ch -ch 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 spray for my face in the morning times. It just makes me happy. So I grabbed that one. Any more skincare in this place before we just dive head first into makeup? Yeah, sure. Let's talk about this lip balm. This is the Bite Agave. This is a nighttime lip therapy with pomegranate extract, actually. And it is like a huge tub of this Bite View lip balm. I haven't used it. They call it the Agave Plus. I haven't used it or swatched it or taken the thing off or anything because I have a lot going right now. But I have a night mask going. I have one of their little tubes going of the original. So, um, so I got them in a three-pack set. So I'm definitely going to use those first. And then I'll probably put this into rotation once I finish that tube. And then my fresh um, lip caramel. I use those at night for protection of the lips. So I got that. Then I got... I think all those things are beauty. Yeah, those are beauty. Oh, look, there's one more skincare. And then we're going to move on to, like, beauty and all that kind of good stuff. This is a very useful face cream. Um, Go-to beauty. I really, really, really love this. I used up a full size of it, as you guys know. And that was in my empties for April. And it just looks like, well, it's a close. Let's grab handy dandy box cutter. What happened here? Alright, hand it in about cutter. Help us out. There we go. It comes in this gorgeous tube, gorgeous pink tube. Very pretty, very 
pretty it'll be on your vanity but I just love it because it's so good it actually has um so many good things in it I talk about it really extensively in my skincare entries water shea butter sweet almond oil apricot kernel oil amla berry which I love for my hair and my skin avocado oil mango butter sunflower seed oil milk thistle coenzyme q10 vitamin e it's just packed full of things and it feels like a kiss on your skin when you wear it so I love 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 that as well let's see next up I got a fragrance set because I was trying to get a perfume during the sale because perfumes are pricey this time I got the roll ball set I think year before last I got a roll ball set and then last year I got by ground beach because I always love that to rotate into my life in the spring um, but this is my Rosie Jane. I really was interested in a Rosie Jane perfume because it's a cru it's cruelty free. They're on the clean beauty side. I got this little five piece that I didn't open it and sniff them all already. But it comes with these like little valves, the little rollers. They look like this. And I find that little rollers like this last me a long time. And I love to just drop them in my car and then just use them throughout the day or in my work office. One did come empty. This is an NG one, but I could smell it and it was it smelled okay. But it also smelled like the one, it was the one that smelled most like my mom that I probably wouldn't use a lot. So I'm not too mad. The notes for that one were honeysuckle fig and jasmine. And the jasmine is what reminds me of my mom because she loves jasmine and fragrances. The one that I think I'm going to love the most is going to be Tilly or Lila Lou. And it has Lila Lou. And it has pear, Lila Lou has pear, jasmine, and fresh cut grass. Tilly has coconut, gardenia, and grapefruit. That citrus that I love. James has fig, amber, and gardenia, and Rosie has nude musk and a hint of rose. Cannot wait to give these a try. Like just maybe like one every month and use them up until to find out which one I love the most in time for the fall VIP sale to grab a huge bottle of it. So that's on my agenda to do. Next up, moving on to makeup guys, I got 24 hour brow setter from Gimme Brow. It's just the clear. I love, 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 love this brow gel. I just toss it on and go a lot of mornings. Then I got my first ever Sephora collection brush. And you know what kind it is, right? <laughs> a blush brush. But I don't have one quite this flattened out shape. So I really want to try this shape of blush brush. And then I just wanted to grab it. And it was on sale too. So I like got it on sale. And this blush. Love it. Not want to have that. Uh, let's just dive into blush while we from that segue right there. Why not? Why not, guys? All right, I have only got two blushes, I think. Nope. Mm. Okay, yeah, I got two cream blushes and a blush palette. So let's start with the cream blushes. I got the Charlotte Tilbury um, Beach Stick Lip to Cheek Color Pop in Formatera, which I've been wanting for ages. It's like a terracotta color. You can see that, but it's really pretty. I love it. And then I got a very similar color by Ila. Ila? I think it's Ila Cosmetics. And you know, guys know I've really been getting into cream blush, and this is a multi-stick. What I find is I can use cream blush all over my cheeks, on my eyes, on my lips, everywhere, and I love to have them for work. Just a cute little stick right here. This one is in Dreamer. It's more glossy than the Charlotte Tilbury. I can't wait to try these out. I remember watching a video from Matilda on video, which I have a video on my channel called Matilda Made Me Buy It. If you guys want to check that out, you'll see how influential she's been in my makeup purchase these days and this last year. And I love the fact that she loves cream blush just like me, and we have that in common. She just makes me want to try more stuff stick blush. I like pots normally but she's really into sticks and I've really been picking up more sticks kind of just trying out the formulas and finding that I love them more and more. So the next blush thing and the only other blush thing I bought I know you're surprised. I know you're surprised but I did buy those cover face blushes let's be real. And I bought some from Colourpop and one from KKW Beauty. So let's be real. This is the Spice Palette also within my palette courtesy of Andrea Renee here on YouTube and she's bragged about this for years. I really want to try more of the Sephora collection because that's why I got that blush, that blush brush and this palette to go with it. So just kind of give them both a try together. So I really want to see what Sephora's beauty products themselves are really, really about. So I don't own a lot of them. In that vein, what I do have, I do love. I got another lip product from them because I really like their um, Click Sticks. I like that a lot so I got another one of these like balmy 
situations very brown nude um on the lips type of thing and this is in the color what color is this why don't you have it on there oh it's so small okay let me see it three eight five five eight is the number um I want to say, I can't remember the name, I think it was Visionary, maybe. I want to say it was Visionary. Visionary? And it's their little new lipsticks. I'm not a good YouTuber right now. But it's their new creamy lipstick they put out in the silver tube. It was kind of like the Fenty one. That's the last Sephora product that I got. So let's move on into some other brands. I got something from Cora Organics. I don't want anything from Cora. Um, but I've been out on her brand for years. She's from Australia. She's an actress. She's a model. Um, and this is just like a balm. Like a stick balm. I've been loving. It smells so good too. I've been loving stick balms. Just to kind of glisten in my complexion. And just kind of make me feel more hydrated. Because so like I've been having some dehydration situations going on with my skin. With the blemishes. And all of that. Next up, speaking of um, more natural brands, I did get some things from RMS Beauty. I got this single bronzer in Madeira. It's a luminizing powder. I think it's just called bronzer because of the shade, but it's not really that kind of situation with bronzer. But it's deep like this and rich. So I shall see what it does because it's beautiful when applied to the skin. So, kind of reminds me of the Becca bronzers. I will let you know how that works out. All right, continuing with RMS, I, our, yeah, RMS Beauty Rosemary Smith Beauty. I got the Savannah Peach Collection in this little trio. It comes with a, I like a stupid this is this free box girl, a peach multi tasking eye capitalizes multi use pencil instantly adds brightness to the eyes, hints of subtle runs. It is. I have a little pot of this, which I love, 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 and like their potted luminizer formula. Um, I'm trying to see if it's close so I can show you. Hmm. Mm, boom! Right there. All right. This is the pot version of this, and this is the stick version. I really like RMS, even though apparently talking about it makes me sneeze. And I got another one of those powders in peach, in scarlet peach, and then I got the Sunset Swift Shadow. So then a Sunset Swift Shadow, and then another one there, Wild Desire. Let's say another because I already own like one of each of these things, and I just knew I love the formula of them, so I just grabbed. One thing that's really new to me is going to be this powder and the eyeshadow because I know I like the lipstick formula. This package is like weighty too. So this is like a peachy highlighter. I'm going to try to show you that. But it's kind of dark in here today. And then this, she has an individual shadow, which I cannot wait to put all over my lids. It came with a peachy lipstick. It's right on time for spring, summer because it's peach lipstick. It's going to be pretty. I already swatched on my lips because it looks really good. Can't wait to wear that. And then this little pencil, which will be great for all kind of touch up, touch up and inner corner highlight situations. So I really like RMS Beauty. So I had their uncover pencil on my list as well, but I took it off because I counted my concealers. And uh, let's just say the number says I don't need another one at all. We'll just put that, put that out there. Um, I also got some more eyeshadow things. I got this Tasha Nana Chroma Crystal. I got it in the shade Peach. So pretty. As you can see, Peach is kind of a thing. Peach is a terracotta. It's kind of a thing here. It's, it's summer, guys. It's summer. Peach is terracotta. So we're ready. We're ready. Then I got the Milk uh, Hydro Grip Primer. I got the Mini. 
because I have plenty of primers and I just wanted to try it out and see because I've heard people say it's kind of breaking their skin out and I don't want to have a full size and be breaking my skin out. So I grabbed the mini of that. Basic things. I got beauty blenders. This came in a trio. I think they were like 45 It was like $45 for the trio and then you got the 20% off right down to like $30, like $36. So it basically made it $12 a piece for these. My flower beauty sponge, which I love, is $10. So I was like, why not grab three beauty blenders, which I know I love as well. Then, I got some Fenty Beauty things. I got a full size of her highlighters. I got it in Ginger Binge Mascara Mule. I didn't get the newer color because I've been listening after this color so long. I was like, I got to get this color first. It's more of a rosy pink. Um, kind of a peachy based pink. Keep it a thing. Um, but I really, really, really cannot wait to put it on my face. Because I really like the mini that I got in a set a while, like last summer maybe. Came out of this set with the mini Hustle Baby and the mini lip balm. Then I got a full size of their bronzer. I have Caramel Cutie that I got in the mini set. But then I really want to grab the full size and the next shade up for when it gets deeper into summer in Coco Naughty. Just because it's very beautiful and rich. In the winter, I make it once I use it the little the little caramel little crunch. Once I use it, the mini version of the caramel cutie, then I will go back and get the full size of that for the winter because I really love the neutral tone of these bronzers. So they're not too warm. I like that. Next up, I got another highlighter, and this is from Dior. It is the Dior Nude Luminizer. I've been out on these for years. This has been on my wish list for ages. And it is the... What did I get? Bronze? 04? I got 04. I think it's like a bronze. It's more like a bronzy peach color. It reminds me of Becca Bronze Amber when I swatch it. And you know, you guys know I've used that up pretty much hit pan all over one. And I have a backup in the mist. And I gave my best friend one because it's one of my favorites. And I wanted her to have one as well. You know you love something when you buy it for somebody else and give it to them. So you know I love that one a lot. I know this one is a permanent one and the Becca Bronze Amber is limited edition. So I really wanted to check this out and see if it was going to be, yeah, it's called Bronze Glow. I wanted to see if it was going to be kind of a dupe or replacement for that situation in case the Becca ever just goes away and I never can get it again. Which made me super sad. Super sad. Alright, that's those things kind of clear my face out so I need to be able to pull out the next little set of things and then we're going to wrap this up guys real quick we're going to wrap it up with the two things that I was super excited to get and that I really really couldn't wait to throw in my cart they were already sitting in my cart when the sale started and that's going to be two eyeshadow palettes by two of the industry's leading ladies and the first one is I just had another video palette I had to get the all neutral beauty palette because I have been falling in love with the Tasha Delano shadows they have been stealing my heart away I love my safari palette and it's it's all matte and this is all neutral mostly matte and so I just I knew I had to have it because I love the Safari palette so much. And then I love the Gold palette. I don't love the Sunset palette as much as the others, but I love the Safari and the Gold the most. The Leela palette is still on my wish list. And uh, Beauty Wish, I didn't grab it because I was like, girl, you're running out. You've done too much. Um, but I grabbed this. And I'm so, so, so excited. For those of you who don't know, these are like gorgeous. I've been touching mine because I had to open it and look at it and make sure nothing was broken. Because I have to do that during the sale time. And it's super neutral, super beautiful, super perfect for me. And I'm going to see if this formula is super perfect for me. Just like the Safari one. Then I'm going to be good to go all summer long with Natasha Nona all on my eyes. Yes, yes, yes. <sighs> Last but certainly not least. I had to grab something from the mother, as everybody calls her, Mother Pax in her Mothership Palette series. This is the bronze seduction one, and it's the one that's super warm. This is the palette. It's kind of beat up already looking because I've been using this. because This was one of the first things that came in the mail. And you open it, and you have this gorgeous black inlay here. It was one of the first things I got when they first started shipping things out. And then the shadows are on this little 
black card they're not on the palette and it's gold on the back and then super inlaid with kind of hieroglyphic of her letters but you can see I've been using mine been loving this corner shade down here which one is that VR opal fire VR fire opal maybe yeah VR fire opal is what it's called and I've really been loving it just kind of all over the lid and then as well as the astral luma gold to the bottom one I just kind of love topping these on top of other shadows and so that's what really makes these bigger ones special is these special shadows at the end down here um because I didn't I can't say that I love my smaller one like I like this one so I really 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 like this one I've been using it a lot so I'm gonna keep using it I'll keep you guys posted on my reviews on this and then I'll keep you guys posted on reviews on anything else that I continue to try and love from this huge I bought my entire wishlist haul because I just you know was feeling some type of way Mother's Day was coming I figured I should get everything I want and then May is a crazy month for us and I am officially changing jobs and I wanted to have everything I wanted in place because I was just going to be getting my life together to do that so that's what happened that's all the excuses you're going to get in the day I really just wanted everything I saw and I grabbed it all that's what happened that's it no excuse just got what I wanted so this is probably the first video that goes up during haul week and then I'll kind of stagger out several others got a haul from cover effects a haul from ColourPop, a haul from KKW Beauty so stay tuned for those smaller hauls and I hope you guys truly 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 enjoy this video and that you let me know what you guys have gotten at the sale and if the sale is not only when you see this what are you getting because I think it's going to be amazing what everybody's grabbing I've been watching everybody's haul videos what they bought what they didn't buy what was on their wish list what they got rid of off their wish list y'all it's been beautiful to watch and I love shopping I love the feel the rush the packages that come I do have a few other things that are on their way, but they're um they're not things I'm gonna make another video about. I grabbed um the fresh lip pots. Like they put them out basically right after I placed my first order because I ordered on the first day because I'm rude. And like those showed up, I saw them or they were probably there and I just said I was so busy grabbing what I want to grab that I didn't see those. So I grabbed those the other day, yesterday maybe. And so the fresh lip caramels are coming. I got the peach and the lemon. They're coming. And that's pretty much all else I bought. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this haul. I'm not going to make another video about those two things. So <laughs> they're included in this haul too, guys. So needless to say, I am well on my way to being rude again for next year. Needless <laughs> April. I don't plan on really doing a lot of shopping for the rest of the summer because I have, like I said, things coming up and things to do. So, this is kind of my last hurrah. Last haul to the fall, y'all, type of situation. Nah, I can't say it. that'll be a lie. But, you'll see why I say that's a lie as the month progresses. So, I will see you around. Have a great day. Bye. Do -do 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 -do.